hello everyone and welcome to the channel so today in this video we are going to discuss about the problems which are asked from electrochemistry and solid state okay especially in part c of your csir june 2018 exam so many of you have asked me to and like you people have requested me to solve question especially of this solid state which was asked from that fcc crystal and you have to tell the molecular mass of that crystal okay so we'll i'll try to make you understand how to solve this type of question now before going into the video i'll like to tell you that the physical chemistry part this time was not that easy that you can put one formula and you will get the answer okay at least you should know like two three formulas in order to get answers especially from these uh, basic topics okay so although from the previous uh, csir exam if you will see the questions are very simple just by putting into one formula you can get the answer easily and you would get four marks easily but this time the paper was little bit difficult or you can say little bit tricky they have like tried to make test your knowledge and they want to you to know about more than one okay so i'll tell you how to solve them uh, the questions from electrochemistry and solid state okay so let's start with the video all right so this is the first question i'm taking from electrochemistry part and the question says that the standard cell potential of a cell the cell is given and was measured over range of temperature and the data was fitted as so your equation is given for e naught okay and they have asked you to calculate the standard reaction entropy and the enthalpy and uh, you must check out the uh, units here they have asked in joule per kelvin per mole and here they have asked you in kilojoule per mole okay at 298 kelvin so let's try to solve this question okay so this was the equation which was given in the question uh, like for e naught okay so we, first of all you have to find out the standard entropy so in order to find out a standard entropy uh, like the formula for standard entropy is do a, uh, sorry delta s is equals to minus n f do e by do t at constant p okay so you have to calculate this term from there so when you have to find out standard entropy so you have you will be putting a standard electrode potential so we'll differentiate this equation with respect to t taking p as constant so this will become do e naught by do t at constant p is equals to this is constant term so differentiation of constant term will become zero minus this term will be like this only one into 10 to the power minus four and for the here uh, when you will put this uh, t the differentiation of t will be 1 okay that is 1 and minus this 298 the differentiation of this will become 0 okay minus this term when you will differentiate the constant will come like that only so here it is not minus this is plus okay uh, 10 to the power minus 6 when you will differentiate this so it will be of the form x to the power n so it will be uh, 2x okay so t minus 298 into now differentiate this so differentiation of t will be 1 minus zero. so this is the differentiation of the whole equation now at 298 kelvin we will put t is equals to 298 here so this term will become 0 and when you will multiply 0 with all the terms it, the whole term will come out to be 0 so you will get 2e by dou t at constant p is equals to minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 4 okay so this is what you get for dou e by dou t so now in order to find out dou s you will just put the value of n for here uh, the value of n will be 1 because in the equation there was hbr okay h2 hbr then agbr okay when you will check then you will see that this is going from ag plus to ag that is for one electron is only used means n value of n is equals to one so that's why we will put one into the value of f is 96500 into the value of dou e by dou t by at constant p is 10 to the power minus 4 so when we will we'll apply this so this was minus minus one okay so when we will multiply this we will get dou s is equals to minus 1 2 3 4 so it will become 9.65 okay and the unit will be joule per kelvin per mole okay so this is dou s in order now this is the first thing which you have got 
now you don't have to solve it further yeah, you have just got the answer okay but yet if you want to confirm and you want to calculate delta h that is enthalpy stand enthalpy so for that you have to calculate delta g first so delta g is equals to minus n f e so when we will put these things n is 1 f is 96500 and e delta e or e naught at 298 kelvin when we will put 298 this term will become 0 and this term will also become 0 you will only get 0 0.01 so 0 0.01 when you will put this you will get minus 965 so this is delta g and delta h is equals to delta g plus t delta s all right so at 298 kelvin delta g is minus 965 and plus 298 and into delta s the value of delta s is minus 9.65 all right so when you will multiply and solve so you will get uh, okay so 3840.7 this will be joule per mole okay but you have to find out in kilojoule per mole so delta h will be just put the point in the decimal three place here so it will be 3.84 kilojoule per mole so this is the answer okay so delta h and delta h both you have calculated so in the question the correct option for this question was option number one okay let's try the next question okay so the next question will be taking is from uh, solid state and the question says that the 002 plane of elemental fcc crystal diffracts x-ray and lambda value is given at Bragg's angle 90 degree the density of crystal is also given in kg per meter cube okay so you have to calculate the atomic weight of the elemental solid so we'll solve this so in order to solve this question you at least need to know two three formulas okay when you will need uh, i'll tell you then we'll solve this question using those two three formulas okay so these are the few informations which are given in the question already that is the crystal is fcc and these are the uh, hkl values lambda that is wavelength is given 0.154 nanometer theta value is given 90 degree and density is given to be 4 into 10 to the power 4 kg per meter cube first of all we will try to find out the interplanar distance using the Bragg's equation so the Bragg's equation says that 2d sin theta is equals to n lambda okay so d is the interplanar distance and lambda is the wavelength n is the integral value okay so for n is equals to 1 we have 2d sin 90 we will put all the values theta is equals to 90 over here and n is equals to 1 and lambda is equals to 1 0 0.154 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter okay so i have converted it into meter so sin 90 is equals to 1 okay so 2 into 1 will become 2 only so this 2 will go that side and it will go in division so this will come out to be 0 0.154 into 10 to the power minus 9 upon 2 meter and that is equals to 0 0.77 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter this is interplanar distance according to the Bragg's law now th there is one more formula for interplanar distance and that is d is equals to a upon under root h square plus k square plus l square here h k l all these three are miller indices okay and a is the edge length of the of your cubic lattice so we'll put all the values which you all wrote already know that is 0 0.77 to 10 to the power minus 9 that is the value of d a we don't know and for hkl we have 0 0 2 so 0 square plus 0 square plus 2 square so 2 square will be 4 and under root of 4 will be 2 only so that 2 will multiply here so value of a will get out to be when we'll multiply this value with 2 we'll get 0 point all right so we will get 0 0.154 into 10 to the power minus 9 okay. because we have here we have divided this only value with 2 and we got this okay wait here it is point zero point zero seven seven. okay okay so when we will multiply we will get this all right so this is the value of a which we got now we have given with density and we know that density is equals to mass upon volume so mass per unit length 
okay we'll take per unit length and volume per unit length or unit cell okay sorry not unit length that is unit cell for each cell now for mass per unit cell we have a z that is number of atoms per unit cell okay for fcc we know that this value of z is equals to 4 so we have 4 atoms per unit cell in z uh, in fcc now z into mass and divided by the avogadro number that is na divided by the volume is given by a q so all of this formula will come out to be z into m m is the mass which we need to calculate and a cube into na okay so we'll put all these values which you know so the density is given 4 into 10 to the power minus 4 kg per meter cube so when we'll convert it into gram per cube it will be we have to multiply it with sorry it is not minus but it is 4 and we'll convert it into gram it will be 10 to the power 3 okay so we'll multiply and it will come out to be gram per meter cube why we are converting into gram because mass we we, we will calculate gram molecular mass okay so that's why now z is 4 because we have 4 atoms per unit cell and mass we don't know a cube the value of a we know that it is 0 0.154 into 10 to the power minus 9 and cube of this and na is our gather number 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 okay so we'll solve this so this 4 and this 4 can be cancelled out and the mass will get to be 0 0.154 whole cube into 6.023 into here you will get 10 to the power 7 into 10 to the power minus 27 from here into 10 to the power 23 okay so after solving this you will get 0 0.02199 into 10 to the power 3 and that will be 21.99 or approximately 22 okay so the mass of the compound uh, mass of the elemental solid will come out to be 22 grams okay so the correct option for this will be option number one that is 22 all right so let's move on to the next question okay so the next question it says that the solution of fe plus 3 is titrated potential metrically using SCE plus 3 okay and 25 degrees Celsius EMF of the redox system when 50% of Fe plus 3 and 80% of Fe plus 3 is titrated and you are only given with E0 of Fe plus 3 so you cannot use uh, ceruleum over here because uh, the standard electrode for that you don't know okay so you cannot use that so with the given information only what we can use I'll try to solve this question using that. Okay. Right, so we do. We only know this thing that standard electrode potential for reduction of iron from plus three to plus two is 0 .07, 0 0.77. 0 .77. So we'll use this formula that E is equals to E naught minus 0 0.059 upon n log one upon metal ion. Okay. So concentration of the ion. So for here we will put the concentration of Fe plus 3. So the formula will become here we will put the concentration of Fe plus 3. Now for the first case when 50% of Fe plus 3 is titrated. It means 50% is titrated and rest 50% is remaining. So that means E is equals to E0. Okay. E0 Fe plus 3 to Fe plus 2 minus 0 0.059 upon n value of n will be 1 because there is gain of one electron over here only and log 1 upon now 50 percent means 50 upon 100 so that 100 will go up okay so we will get 0 0.77 minus 0 0.059 upon 1 and this will be log 100 upon 50 that will be cancelled out and it comes out to be log 2 so the value of log 2 is already given in the question so 0 0.059 into log 2 is 0 0.3010 when you will multiply it comes out to be this term will comes out to be 0 0.013 okay something like that so we'll take only 0 0.01 so if you will subtract this value 0 0.01 from here so 
you will get approximately this much only okay because this is very small quantity so you will get around this much only 0.76 or in the options you don't have this value so you have to take 0 0.77 0 0.77 volt only okay because this is very less value that's why now in option we don't have any value uh, means any value which is close to this so that's why we have to take this value now the next point says that when 80 percent of fe plus 3 is titrated okay that means 20 percent is remaining so we'll put the remaining amount not the titrated amount okay so we'll put 20 percent over here rest will be similar only so e is equals to e naught minus 0 0.059 and will be 1 log 1 upon 20 upon 100 okay so i'm just putting the values 0 0.77 minus 0 0.059 and this will come out to be log all right so it will be log 10 upon 2 okay uh, if you want to sub cancel out then what you have to do is you will cancel out and solve then you will get log 5 In log 5 value don't know so what you can do is you can solve it like this 0 0.059 you can solve it like this log m upon n is log m minus log n all right now you know the value of log 10 is 1 and log 2 you know so we'll put these values 0 0.77 minus 0 0.059 and here we will get 1 minus 0 0.3010 all right so when we will subtract this and multiply with it we will get 0 0.04 and when we will subtract you will get 0 0.73 okay so the close value to this is 0 0.734 so this way the correct option for this question will be number 3 that is 0 0.077 and 0, 0, uh, sorry, 0 0.077 and 0 0.734 all right all right so that's all for this video i have taken like three questions basically from two from electrochemistry and one from solid state and i tried to solve them and to make and make them understandable for you so that's all for this video and before ending this video i would like to tell you guys something that i am going soon i am going to start like from the very basic i am going to start physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry course and i will be also teaching general organic chemistry general organic chemistry i have planned to start to teach on an academy though i am not that regular over there but uh, since i was not well these days so i am i was not regular on youtube also so soon i'll be all right and right now also i'm not well that much so that's why i'm not making a, a, a like a long video so uh, like from july first week i'll be starting a, a dedicated course from on uh, physical chemistry and inorganic chemistry and I'll be teaching from the very basic and I'll try to make you understand so that you are well prepared for your December 2018 exam. Okay, so all the best for that. I hope you people have done better in your June 2018 only. But if you have missed something, if you have missed some points, nevertheless, we'll try to make it better for June 2018. Okay, sorry, for December 2018. So that's all for this video I, I hope you like this and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please subscribe it so that whenever i upload a video you get notification for that and thank you for watching if you want to ask anything you can ask in the comment section below please like the video share it with your friends and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed it yet